Football was huge for me. I thought that was gonna be my world. I just kind of was a guy who went to church because all the cute girls went to church. Uh, a guy came up to me on campus and just started talking to me about God. I shoved him to the ground, thought, man, who are you to judge me? You don't know me. Yo, what's up? This is Tadashi from the 116, all the way from Dallas, Texas, telling you guys to stay tuned in because you're watching This Is Me TV. Malo. Look around, I seen paradise disappear. It's a mirage to the people who still living here. Make no mistake, life is great, but it's still lacking. Sister gone, son gone, came to know what happened. Expensive look, crystal. Now, I played instruments, I was in the band, and honestly, music was kind of far fetched to me at some point. My mom was what I would call religious. I wasn't anything like that. I just kind of was a guy who went to church. And I was okay with it because all the cute girls went to church. And honestly, nothing about the Lord made sense to me until I graduated high school and got to the university. This is real life. Real people sneak and creep and cheat on their real wife. We got real problems. That's the real world. It's hard to face reality. So we are in Dallas, Texas. I am Backstage now, getting ready. Look, man, we're excited to be here. So excited to be in Dallas doing this. Excited about having that opportunity. Said excited like seven times because I'm excited. Get excited with me. Okay, if life a game, I'm the referee. I give you some and keep the rest for me. All in my mix like a recipe. Free like the cops almost arrested me. I, I took a blow like Tyson Punch and I feel like Joe was he out to lunch. What's this the a guy came up to me on campus and just started talking to me about God and basically challenged me on where I was. I, honestly, I was offended. Where I come from, you don't, go, you don't get to go to the university. You don't get to go play sports professionally. You don't get to do certain things. And, and so for me to be where I was, in my mind, I go, man, you don't know who I am. You don't know where I've come from. How dare you come and talk to me like I'm a nobody or at least somebody who needs you. I actually put hands on him. Like I shoved him to the ground walked off upset i was so mad man um because i thought man who are you to judge me you don't know me i went through heartache i've been through pain i've suffered loss and at the end of the day i still tell them fire away it's all about it. My pain be real, no pretend you can feel I appreciate your press, but I'm keeping it real Kitchen, I'm sketching and gripping the steel Hand in my pain and let's keep it concealed Mad at the world and I'm ready to kill Hollering in pain and they living me live Making me sick and they calling me ill The mood that I'm in, I got you to fear no lie. Two weeks later, I run into that same guy again He walked up to me and he said, hey man I, I know last time didn't go so well, but can we talk again? Well, at this moment, life had given me so many curveballs and punches to the chin. I was like, man, I just need somebody to talk to, period, right now. It's just a bad day. He shared some of the same stuff again, uh, but this time it sort of clicked. It made sense. And I said, okay, well, you know what? I want to know more. Can't understand it. And he shares with me the idea that life, because of our disobedience to God, is off. And so I was intrigued. I was like, tell me more. What, what is this off thing? I don't want to be off. I want to be right. I want to get it right. He didn't necessarily push me to a right or wrong, but he communicated or he talked to me about a relationship. And then he said something that, that kind of just flipped the switch for me. I'm looking for satisfaction in every other thing but him, and those things can only take me so far. And I go, well, what's good forever? And he goes, God's good forever. And the only way we know him is through Jesus. The light came on, bro, and it was one of the coolest things that ever happened in my life. The entirety of life has changed for me. Now my kids grow up in that. Now my, my, my wife and I live that out. So, man, it's, it's phenomenal. I want us to have fun, but I want to keep the main thing the main thing. And the main thing for me is that years ago, back in 19, um, <laughs> At a small school called Baylor University, the Lord saved my soul. No matter what you go through, we have a God who loves us enough to carry us through, amen? And so, this next song is just a celebration of the goodness of God. Lost it all in my rinse, dude. 
Trouble when it rains it floods In my pain, no, it ain't all good No, but I tell them this, I'm a witness That everything is made new So tell them, dog, I ain't through Feels like, feels like this life just became a fight Yeah, I'm in it, ain't no way out the pressure zone Yeah, it's pressure zone, but tell them who ain't gon' crack, homie And years down the line I met with some guys um, at a different college, one by the name of Lecrae, uh, another guy named Trip Lee, another guy named Shel Baraka, and um, we, were became, we became really good friends. And then at some point, we started doing music together, and eight years later, here I am, still doing it. So it wasn't my plan, I wanted to play football. So what is 116? What is being unashamed? What's this movement? It's based on a Bible verse. Um, that's found in Romans 1.16, and it just simply says, For I am unashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation for all who believe. The picture of the gospel is us being able to say, I am weak and I need someone to help me do the thing that I in and of myself cannot do. And so I am unashamed of that. I'm unashamed to be different and admit I'm weak. I need help. The more that I fight to depend on him, the more I let go of all of who I think I am and gain more of who he says I am. We have an identity that is shaped, defined, and affirmed by who Jesus is. By being created in his image, we have purpose. God's made us for a specific reason your life is not just a random life amongst a bunch of other lives, but your life matters. Like you are the only you there is. And if you are no longer here, then you don't get to achieve everything you were put on this earth to do. And you don't get to benefit everybody else. The guy who, who led me to Christ at one point wasn't gonna go to that school. And even furthermore, was gonna run away from home because his parents split up. And so he said, I'm done, I don't care anymore, God doesn't love me, look at what he's doing, my mom and dad, but here I am now, a Christian, on a national tour, because this one guy said, I refuse to quit, I refuse to give up, and, and I'm, I have a different life now because of this guy. I hope no one takes lightly the fact that you have an identity and it's firmly rooted in Jesus if you're a Christian. And, and that should give us all the encouragement in the world to face every hard day and celebrate every great day.